Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Got a couple of cruise ships off San Diego right now. But it is a uh, negative 0.7 low tide here and about peaks out in about 30 minutes. But this beach typically at a low tide like that, the water's way further out. So I'm not quite sure what that means. Maybe it's moved some sand. Who knows? We'll see how we do. See you on the first dig. And we're starting out with junk. The sun's about to dip behind that ship over there and we're gonna go dark, so we're gonna catch that before it happens. Sounds like a fishing week. Yep. Got a really deep 17, 19. Peg in the scale for depth and I barely, barely hear a whisper. So, I'm gonna start out by taking a few bites out of this thing. Lots of black sand, that's good. All right, let's see. 16 out of the hole. small it's an earring back that's why it was barely a whisper it's just such a small target all right let's see if we can't find the earring this doesn't sound great but every other swing it's hitting it's really deep, so I'm just kind of kind of test to see how things are reading tonight. It's still in there, I'm sure. So I'm gonna take a couple of bites. Now it's rejecting. place out of the hole. Almost like a bottle cap, but we'll see. Alright, it's in the scoop. That was a penny. Sounded like hell. Alright, well I've dug I've dug a lot of can slaw fishing weights. This one's uh, 2728, higher than a dime, lower than a quarter. That's a damn penny. No, it's not. It's a foreign coin. Oh, a Canadian penny. Cool. Strong 25. This gave all my fishing weights to a couple of fishermen. They're super excited. Thought I was Santa Claus. It is. Got a dime. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm uh, crossing over the bridge coming into Mission Beach. The other night didn't really pan out very well. Um, so Mission Beach, it's peak low tide in about an hour. It's not a really good low tide. Um, so I'm going to do some wet sand 
and if it doesn't pan out, I'll do some dry sand. We'll see what happens. But I'll uh, I'll video a couple of digs. But if I'm not pulling anything in really cool, I won't uh, video every single dig. But I will certainly turn on the camera if I find something cool. We'll see you on the first dig. It is beautiful. First target. Penny tone, unfortunately. But it's something. There it is. Constant 23. Four twenty five out of the hole. Copper painting. Probably trash. Low tone three, four. Penny reading that low. That's crazy. I got one here. It was reading 111. Back and forth. One one direction, 11 the other. It sounded terrible. Kicked it out and I see something different. I don't know what it is. It might be an earring. Yep, looks like an earring. Strong quarter tone or silver. Oops. Quarter. Looks like what remains of an earring. Hello? All right, so that last one I was talking to that girl next to me said hello or whatever she said. Kind of freaked me out. Um, so we'll test that diamond later. I doubt it's real. This one, I just dug it up out of here and it sounded like a pull tap. It was 14 and it still is. And I took a look at it and uh, it looks like a pendant. A crusty, crusty pendant. But it looks awfully shiny underneath all that. Oh, you know what it is. Um, oh, I forget the name of the stone. You break in half and it has all those uh, beautiful purple and green things inside. I forget what they call it. That's exactly what it is. We'll clean this up later. This one's actually a really neat pendant. I wish I could remember the name. <laughs> oh well, I'll get back to you on this one. Okay, this sounded terrible. One to five, not coming in clear, dug it up. I'm like, ah, I'll just get this junk off the beach. I think I have a ring. doesn't seem hollow.
Oh, another something we'll have to clean up later. Doesn't look like a shotgun shell. Wouldn't sound like that if it was. Piece of a battery, maybe? Who knows? We'll clean that up later. I thought I had a ring for a second. Alright, so I just got this out of the hole and it sounds terrible. I, I don't even know why I dug it. I, a couple of swings it sounded okay, and then the rest it was just rejecting. So I dug it anyway. Because when it does hit, it's like a 12. And it's... It looks to me like a chain and a pendant. There's like a lightning bolt pendant. And that is for sure a chain. So I will uh, put that in some CLR when I get home. Let it soak for a while. We'll see what that looks like. So random. All right, I'm gonna throw these items in the Sonic. This is a, a geode is what the word I was trying to think of out there. Uh, so we'll get that cleaned up, this earring, this what's it, which I thought was a ring, but it's not. And then this, I don't think I showed on camera, but the more I wipe it, the shinier it's getting. So we'll throw that in there. And then this uh, clump of necklace and pendant and see how this turns out. I'll get back to you. All right, quick wrap up. So I left a lot of things in the Sonic cleaner all night long. And, th and this didn't even change much. It loosened up a little bit, but that necklace and pendant is a goner. That's still a what's it. I have no clue what that is. I tested this stone. It's not a diamond. No shocker. It's rare to find a diamond earring. Uh, this piece didn't get much cleaner. Can't really tell what it was. It was probably a pendant at one point. That's all the coins I found the last two nights. Uh, Canadian penny. This earring. Clasp that broke off that earring. An earring back. Here's my trash. And this guy, the geode, was a nice pendant at one point. And uh, I don't think there's any revive in that, much more than I already have. So, this is the reality of metal detecting. You get out there, and it's cool to find little odds and ends, but you don't always find good jewelry. And especially in the last year and a half, two years, it's been pretty bad, but. Still get out there because one day you're going to walk over the correct spot and uh, find something pretty cool. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.